To take a payment in SiteLink, you can go to Operations, Payments, either search for the tenant name in the global search or choose the name from the tenant list. Double click on the tenant name. In the upper right hand corner, type in the amount. In this case, I'm going to put in $100. Choose the method, which would be Visa, MasterCard, American Express, whichever credit card you'd like to put in. You can either type in the number or swipe the credit card at this point. Choose the expiration date. I'm going to put in a, a random number, but obviously you'd want to put in the correct credit card number. You could put in the CVV2 and then click OK to process. If you want to set someone up on auto bill, in the payment screen you'd click on ledger settings, edit under auto bill, put in the credit card type, again the appropriate type, Visa, MasterCard or whatever choice it should be, put in the credit card number, expiration date, the name on the card, and then put in the address verification postal code or zip code and billing street address to click OK. Once this is set up, once you have the credit card information put in, the fact that it is entered in this ledger screen under auto bill will prompt to charge that credit card on the day that they are due. After we've put in the credit card information here, we want to choose credit card as the monthly auto billing type. It says in the bottom right hand corner, auto bill on days past due. Typically you would leave that at zero. In other words, if someone is doing the first of the month, if you put the auto bill on day past due as zero, that means it's going to prompt to charge them on the first of the month. But if you have someone that, if you're first of the month billing, but they want to have their card charged on the third, put this number as two. They're still due on the first, but if you put that number as two, it's going to physically charge their card on the third. If we go into My Hub, which is the browser based version of SiteLink, the URL for My Hub is myhub.sitelink.com. Put in your information on the left hand side to log in, the same login that you would use for SiteLink Web Edition. Log in. Go to Payments, choose the particular person's name, and click Next. This could also be done on a smartphone or a tablet. And then it's a similar process as it would be in the Payment screen from SiteLink Web Edition. In the upper right hand corner, type in the amount, choose the method, Visa in this case, put in the number, expiration date, CVV2, and click submit. That will let you take a payment from the browser based version of SiteLink.